Have you ever wondered about the tiny creatures that inhabit our gardens and fields, and their role in the grand scheme of nature? Let's dive into the hidden world of leafhoppers, an ensemble of small yet remarkable insects that play crucial roles in our ecosystems and agriculture. With their distinctive appearance and diverse lifestyles, leafhoppers are more than just garden dwellers. They are fascinating subjects of study and essential contributors to the natural world. Leafhoppers belong to the family Cicadellidae. They boast characteristic features like wedge-shaped bodies, large eyes, and powerful hind legs designed for impressive leaps. These agile insects are found in various habitats worldwide, from the lush greens of your backyard to the wild expanse of rainforests, showcasing a remarkable adaptability. What makes leafhoppers truly fascinating is their feeding habits. They are sap suckers, using their piercing mouth parts to feed on the sap of plants. This diet may sound simple, but it has profound implications for the environment. You see, when leafhoppers feed on plant sap, they help circulate nutrients in the ecosystem. They take up nutrients from the plant and when they excrete, return these nutrients to the soil where they can be used by other plants. This simple act of feeding plays a significant role in nutrient cycling, promoting the health and diversity of plant life in the ecosystem. But there is more to these vibrant insects than meets the eye. Their colorful bodies and swift movements are a sight to behold, but it's their role in our ecosystems that truly sets them apart. They are not just inhabitants of the garden, they are active participants in maintaining its health and vibrancy. So the next time you find yourself in a garden or a field, take a moment to appreciate these tiny creatures. They might be small and often overlooked, but their contribution to the grand scheme of nature is anything but insignificant. These agile insects, with their vibrant colors and fascinating behaviors, are more than mere garden dwellers. They are the unsung heroes of our gardens and fields, playing their part in the intricate web of life. To truly appreciate the intricacies of the leafhopper, we must delve into their unique biology and adaptations. These tiny insects are marvels of evolution, equipped with specialized features that aid in their survival and efficiency in their ecological roles. Let's begin by exploring their most striking feature, their piercing mouth parts. Unlike many insects that chew their food, leafhoppers have developed sharp, needle-like mouth parts that pierce right into plant tissues. This adaptation allows them to reach the nutritious sap located deep within the plant. It's a bit like having a built-in straw, ideal for a diet based on plant juices. Equally impressive are their hind legs. If you've ever tried to catch a leafhopper, you'll know they're no easy catch. These insects are known for their agility and speed, and it's all thanks to their powerful hind legs. Shaped like a pair of miniature springs, these legs enable leafhoppers to leap great distances relative to their size, hence their name. This jumping ability is not only useful for escaping predators, but also for traveling between food sources. Another fascinating aspect of leafhopper biology is their coloration. Many leafhopper species exhibit vibrant colors and intricate patterns, making them one of the most visually striking groups of insects. These colors are not just for show though, they serve a vital purpose in leafhopper survival, acting as camouflage against predators, and in some cases, a warning signal indicating that the insect might not be a tasty meal. But it's not all about survival. Leafhoppers also have a softer side, their dutiful parents. Some species are known to guard their eggs and nymphs, an unusual behavior among insects. This parental care ensures the survival of the next generation, helping to maintain leafhopper populations and their role in the ecosystem. Equipped with these features, leafhoppers are nature's tiny yet efficient sap extractors. Their unique adaptations not only aid their own survival, but also play a crucial role in the delicate balance of nature. So the next time you spot a leafhopper in your garden, take a moment to appreciate these remarkable insects and their contributions to our world. While leafhoppers contribute to nutrient cycling, they also carry a darker side. This darker side reveals itself in the form of their role as vectors for plant pathogens. Yes, these tiny creatures with their vibrant colors and intricate wing patterns are responsible for transmitting a myriad of diseases to plants. Picture this. A leafhopper lands on a plant, pierces the surface with its mouth parts, and begins to feed on the plant's sap. As it feeds, it introduces bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms into the plant system, 
These microorganisms are the causative agents of various plant diseases, and their effects can be devastating. They can cause symptoms ranging from leaf discoloration and stunted growth to plant death. Let's take it a step further. Imagine a field of wheat or a vineyard, large-scale agricultural settings where leafhoppers can wreak havoc. As these insects feed on the crops, they transmit diseases, leading to a significant reduction in crop yield. This is not just a problem for the plants and the farmers, but it also has a ripple effect on local and global food supply chains. And it doesn't stop there. The diseases transmitted by leafhoppers can also alter the plant's chemistry, making it less nutritious or even toxic to other animals that rely on these plants for food. This, in turn, can have a cascading effect on the ecosystem, affecting biodiversity and the balance of life. Yet we must remember that leafhoppers are not villains in this story. They are simply fulfilling their ecological roles, feeding on plant sap, and in doing so, inadvertently transmitting diseases. It is a natural process, a part of the complex network of interactions that make up our ecosystems. But this highlights a unique challenge. How do we balance the ecological roles of leafhoppers with the need to protect plant health and agricultural productivity? It's a question that requires careful consideration and innovative solutions. This dual role of leafhoppers presents a unique challenge in our quest for ecological balance. Their story is a reminder that nature is a complex web of interactions, where every creature, no matter how small, plays a significant role. It calls for our understanding, respect and responsible action. When it comes to agriculture, managing leafhoppers becomes a game of strategy. These tiny insects, while playing their part in the ecosystem, can also pose significant challenges to farmers and crop growers worldwide. They can cause substantial damage to crops and transmit diseases, making them a formidable foe in the field of agriculture. There are effective ways to manage leafhoppers and ensure they don't wreak havoc on our crops. One such method is integrated pest management, a holistic, environmentally sensitive approach that relies on a combination of common sense practices to control pests. Firstly, crop rotation plays a significant role in integrated pest management. By changing the type of crop grown in a particular area each season, we disrupt the life cycle of leafhoppers, making it difficult for them to establish a strong presence. Next, we have biological control, which involves using the leafhoppers' natural enemies to regulate their population. Predators, parasites and pathogens can all play a part in keeping leafhopper numbers in check. Ladybugs, spiders and parasitic wasps, for example, are all known to prey on leafhoppers while certain fungi and bacteria can infect and kill these insects. Lastly, targeted insecticide use is another effective strategy. While broad-spectrum pesticides can harm beneficial insects and lead to resistance, more specific targeted insecticides can control leafhoppers without causing undue harm to other organisms. However, it's crucial to use these substances judiciously, as over-reliance on chemical control can lead to problems down the line. These strategies can help manage leafhopper populations and minimize crop damage. But it's essential to remember that no single method will work in isolation. It's the combination of these strategies, tailored to the specific needs of each agricultural setting, that will be the most effective. With these strategies in place, we can strike a balance between agricultural productivity and leafhopper management. By doing so, we ensure both the health of our crops and the continued survival of these fascinating insects within our ecosystems. As we move forward, our actions will shape the future of leafhoppers and the ecosystems they inhabit. Leafhoppers are more than just tiny garden dwellers. They are key players in the intricate web of life, contributing to the nutrient cycling, plant diversity, and even the spread of plant diseases. Therefore, their conservation is not just about saving an insect species, it's about preserving the health of our ecosystems. Habitat preservation is one of the crucial steps towards this goal. As these insects are found in various habitats worldwide, protecting these spaces from destruction and degradation is vital. This includes forests, grasslands, and even agricultural lands where diverse plant species provide food for leafhoppers. Sustainable land management also plays a huge role. This involves practices that maintain the health of the land while reducing the impact on the environment. For instance, crop rotation can help manage leafhoppers in agricultural settings by disrupting their life cycle, reducing their numbers, and thus, their impact on crops. Promoting natural predators of leafhoppers is another effective strategy. 
birds, spiders, and other insects are known predators of leafhoppers. Encouraging these species in our gardens and farms can help keep leafhopper populations in check, lessening the need for chemical interventions. These conservation efforts are not just about the leafhoppers, they're about maintaining the delicate balance of our ecosystems. Leafhoppers, like all creatures, have a role to play in the grand scheme of things. And as they go about their lives, feeding on plant sap and jumping from leaf to leaf, they help keep our ecosystems functioning. The future of leafhoppers is inextricably tied to the future of our ecosystems. And as stewards of the environment, it falls upon us to ensure that this balance is maintained. Together we can ensure a future where leafhoppers continue to contribute to our ecosystems, while minimizing their impact on our agricultural landscapes.